वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दी एडब्ल्यू एस सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट एसोसिएट एग्जाम प्रेपरेशन कोर्स हियर वी विल सी ऑल द क्वेश्चन विद द रियल टाइम यूज केस एंड वी विल डी कोड द आंसर फॉर द एडब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफिकेट एग्जाम लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज एन एमेजॉन क्लस्टर प्लेसमेंट ग्रुप कैन बी स्ट्रेच अक्रॉस मल्टीपल अवेलेबिलिटी जोन so the options are option a true option b false please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is option b false because of the low latency required for a cluster placement group a cluster placement group can only exist within one availability zone let's move on next question for the aws solution architect associate exam so the next question is your three aws accounts a b and c share data in an attempt to maximize performance between the accounts you place all the instances for these accounts in eu west 1b during testing you find almost no transfer latency between accounts a and b but significant latency between accounts b and c and accounts c and a which of the following possibilities is the most likely source of the problem so the options are option a the names of the azs are randomly applied so eu west 1b is not the same location for all three accounts Option B you have incorrectly configured the cross account authentication policies in account C adding latency to those instances Option C account C has been allocated to an older section of the data hall with slower networking Option D the instances for account C are an overloaded host Stop all the account C instances and then start them together so that the run a new host please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 so the right answer is option a the names of the azs are randomly applied So EU West 1B is not the same location for all three accounts. The availability zone names presented are unique per account and do not represent a specific set of physical resources. Let's move on next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is Give an answer in true or false. You can use S3 transfer acceleration with multi-part uploads. So the options are: option A true, option B false. Please select your answer in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So the right answer is option A true. you can use s3 transfer acceleration with multi part uploads let's move on next question for aws solution architect associate exam so the next question is you have built an online dating application that allows users to send and receive photos as they court each other you need to secure this data and you need to implement server side encryption to protect this data you decide that you want server side encryption provided by amazon you will also need to have an audit trail so you can see who used your key to access which object and when 
as well as view failed attempts to access data from users without permission to decrypt the data. What out-of-the-box Amazon solution would enable you to achieve this? So the option are Option A SSE S3 Option B SSEC Option C SSE KMS Option D Amazon S3 Encryption Client Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option C SSC KMS. AWS KMS provides an audit trail so you can see who used your key to access which object and when as well as view failed attempts to access data from users without permission to decrypt the data. Let's move on next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, which of the following is not a valid EC2 instance type? So the options are, option A D2, option B C4, Option C M3 Option D Z2 Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option D. D2 C4 M3 are all valid EC2 instances. Let's move on next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, You work for a large insurance company that has issued 10,000 insurance policies. These policies are stored as PDFs. You need these policies to be highly available and company policy says that the data must be able to survive the simultaneous loss of two facilities. What storage solution should you use? So the options are Option A single EC2 instance with an EBS volume provisioned as a secondary volume. Option B S3 Option C Glacier Option D Route 53 Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is option B. Your best solution would be to use S3, which redundantly stores multiple copies of your data in multiple facilities and on multiple devices within each facility. Let's move on next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, You are a solutions architect working for a company that conducts surveys on specific industries. Each industry that you survey has its own EC2 fleet separate from those of other industries. Company policy dictates that you should keep costs to a minimum. Using only one load balancer. If possible. What type of load balancer should you use to suit this requirement? So the options are. Option A Classic Load Balancer. Option B Application Load Balancer Option C Elastic Load Balancer with IDs Option D Elastic Load Balancer with IPS Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is Option B. You need an application-aware load balancer. 
So your best option would be to use an application load balancer. Let's move on next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, in the future, you will need to preserve, restore, and retrieve every version of every file that you have stored in AWS. Which service should you use? So the options are, Option A EC2 with additional EBS volume in conjunction with CloudWatch. Option B RDS. Option C Glacier. Option D S3. Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, the right answer is option D. Versioning allows you to preserve, retrieve, and restore every version of every object stored in an Amazon S3 bucket. Let's move on next question for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So, the next question is, you need to restore an object from Glacier. What two ways can you accomplish this? So, the options are Option A using the Glacier API Option B using the S3 API Option C using the AWS console Option D using the AWS command line interface and the S3 subcommand Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 So the right answer is options B and C. Because Amazon S3 maintains the mapping between your user-defined object name and Amazon Glacier's system-defined identifier, Amazon S3 objects that are stored using the Amazon Glacier option are only accessible through the Amazon S3 APIs or the Amazon S3 Management Console. Let's move on next question for AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So the next question is, What is the uptime SLA for Amazon EC2 and EBS within a given region? So the options are Option A 99 percentage Option B 99 50 percentage Option C 99 95 percentage Option D 100 00 percentage Please select your answer in the next 5 seconds 5 4 3, 2, 1. So the right answer is option C 99. 95%. Amazon's SLA guarantees a monthly uptime percentage of at least 99. 95% for Amazon EC2 and Amazon EBS within a region. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.